Hello everyone, welcome to a cooking video. Yes, indeed. You want to use up some of that leftover ham from Easter? Well, I do, and I'm going to make some split pea and ham soup. If you love it like I do, then stay tuned. All right, everybody, let's get into this cooking video. So what I have here is about two cups of diced up ham. I've got three stalks of celery um, diced, and I also have one large onion diced. I have my ham bone, one package of uh, split peas that I have rinsed. I have uh, about three large carrots. I have a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and two bay leaves. And then we're going to also use um, some thyme leaves, and I believe it is a pinch. And um, normally I would use um, a carton of chicken stock, a couple cartons, but I'm out, so I'm going to be using... This is equivalent to about two um, chicken bouillon cubes. I have eight cups of water, which I am going to pour into my soup pot. And then we are going to add our split peas. Got to get them all out of there. I don't waste anything, y'all. All right, I'm going to stir these up. Get them all separated. Make sure there's no big clumps. And then what I'm going to do... is turn my burner on high and I am going to bring this to a boil. All right, guys, I had to come back because this is definitely not going to be enough soup for me. And I also like to give some to my mom and my daughter. So I have decided to up the water from eight to 16 cups. And I'm going to add another package of split peas that I have rinsed. Now that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Now we shall bring this to a boil. Get in there. Okay, so since I decided to double uh, my liquid and my peas, I also doubled my salt, pepper, and my pinch of, pinch of thyme, and I also added an extra bouillon cube. Um, I have plenty of veggies and ham, so I don't need to really double up on that, but I definitely needed to double up on my seasonings. All right, our split peas have come to a boil, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the heat, and we are going to cover these and we're gonna let those sit for one hour. What are you doing over there, Binks? Show everybody how beautiful you are. 
No more boo-boo? Yeah. He's a handsome boy. He's a handsome boy, but he keeps scratching that one spot. All right, guys. So, the soup sat covered for one hour. Then we have to turn it back on and bring it to a boil again. Now we're going to add our carrots, our onion, and our celery. Get in there. Our spices, bay leaf, and bouillon. And our ham bone. Gonna stir this around. Nestle in that ham bone. And then we are gonna cover this. We're gonna turn it down to simmer. So it's just a little bit of a little bit of a boil and we're going to cover it and we're going to cook it for an hour to an hour and a half. I did not forget my ham. Once the soup is almost done cooking, we'll add the rest of our ham. All right, guys, we have been simmering for an hour and a half. Ooh, don't they look yummy? Let's give it a stir. Oh boy, that looks good. All right. So what I need to do now is grab out the uh, the ham bone. Let's get this ham bone out. Where are you? Here you are. I will pick off any extra meat off of that. Now I'm going to add in all of my ham. Come on, get in there. Dang it all. There's always got to be a few that don't want to play in the pool. There. Y'all ain't getting away from me. Oh, boy. Oh, you guys, this looks fabulous. I am going to have to serve me up a small little bowl. All right, guys, I'm just going to get me a little bowl. I want to just kind of taste it. I have to take out my bay leaves. Just going to give myself a little taste. Ooh, this is piping hot. Let me get a spoon. Get a little bit of carrot, some ham, some celery. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so delicious. It's been a minute since I had some split pea soup. Mm. You guys, I will put this recipe in the description box. Please give it a try. If you are a lover of split pea soup, you will not be disappointed. See y'all in the next one. Bye for now.